Hey guys, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and I've got a mega unboxing today. I haven't got anything over a week, and now suddenly I've got one, two, three, five, six packages. I've got my Rake P852 <laughs> knife. This is that really good recurve I've got re very recently. I'm preparing to do a review on this. So I'm carrying it and using it and getting a good sense of it before I do my review. Let's start with the smallest package. I know for sure that this is not a knife. This might be something for goods, gadgets, and gear. Um, or it might be something for Canadian Cutting Edge. I don't recall. I don't remember uh, the name that's on this package. I don't remember ordering anything. Oh, yes, I did. So here, this is what I ordered. I'll show this to you anyways, just because uh, it's probably good for you guys to see this kind of stuff. I'm not going to do a review of it or anything. I ordered this from Amazon. It's a little bottle, and I'll put a link to this below as well. So there you go. Take this apart. We've got a needle here. And uh, the needle goes up in through here, I think. No, it goes on here. There we go. Yeah, it goes on there. You push it on there good enough so it'll stay. And... Now I've got an oiler with a long needle. This is to get into oil bearings and washers without taking the knife totally apart. So you can just loosen the pivot screw a little bit, maybe spread the stuff apart a little bit. Sometimes you can just leak in inside. That's what I ordered these oilers for. So I've got oil, oil that I've ordered. I've ordered some special oil. I've got some different kinds of oils that I'm going to be testing. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be testing is bicycle chain oil. Uh, the reason why is because bicycle chain oil is um, hydrophobic. Uh, it's resistant to water, so it's really good for you guys who use your knives outdoors an awful lot. Uh, it resists uh, getting gumped up because, you know, your chain is always flexing and stuff, and they want to keep all the, you know, the dirt and the junk out of the uh, the joint on the chain, right? So I'm going to try, I've got, a, I think, two of those different chain oils that I'm ordering, and I'm going to check that out. So that's why I bought these oilers, because uh, the uh, the oil that I'm getting doesn't come in a container that has a needle for it. So there we go. I've got this one put together and oiler. Another small package right here. And this is very light as well. I wonder what's in here. I don't know why, but my fingers are usually terrible with these little bags. I just have a tough time taking them apart. I don't remember ordering this. Oh, 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 I think my wife ordered this for me because I'm uh, gonna be traveling to visit my niece for her wedding. Uh, she's getting married in Kansas City and uh, she wanted to get me something, a strap for my luggage bag to help hold it together because my luggage is getting really old. I'm thinking that's what this is for. So that's not important. Um, let's do a box next. This box says Mass Drop on it. Now, what in the world did I order from Mass Drop? <laughs> you know what I like to order from Mass Drop. Massive things. Things that have mass. I think pretty much everything's got mass, doesn't it? And here's the packing slip. Ooh. It says, let's see how many of you can know what this is. It says, Super Bad Bowie. Super Bad Bowie. Yes, I ordered a Super Bad Bowie. What does a Super Bad Bowie look like? Well, looks like a bag of air. Here you go. A Super Bad Bowie is made by Kaiser. Hey, yes. Kaiser Superbad Bowie, Mikkel Williamson. Now, do you guys know Mikkel Williamson? Put this aside. Does anybody remember Mikkel Williamson? Uh, my first... Uh, I'll show you a picture of my first Mikkel Williamson knife that I've ever had. And I think I've only had one or two of his knives. But here's a picture of his first knife that I... The first knife of his that I've had. Check it out. What do you think of that? <laughs> I think that's pretty nice. It's rather funky. He's into making 
these uh, dramatic tactical kind of knives. So uh, there's a nice box by Kaiser. I really like this. This is great. And there's the knife, the super bad Bowie. There we go. There you go. There you got your clip point Bowie right there. You've got a multi, uh, a multi bevel blade. So flat bevel here, a hollow grind here, finger choil right there for sneaking up. So you can sneak up and do work, or you can use it back this way for more reach. Uh, black and green G10. Now I ordered this, you know, over a month ago. Uh, I ordered it, I think the first or second day that it was on, you know, and then it was still on for a week or so at uh, Mass Drop. And, uh, you know, then it finally went to production and then finally it got shipped and stuff. So it's here now. So this has got VG10 steel. Uh, it was a decent budget price. Uh, super bad recurve Bowie is what it says here in Williamson's name. A little jimping right there. It's got some weight to it. Feels pretty good. Um, this was well before my big tax bill came due. So uh, <laughs> if I would have known that that bill was going to be coming due, I probably wouldn't have bought this. So we've got a nice cloth that comes with it. And here's the Kydex sheath. Um, they even took the clip point <laughs> relief on that. I don't know. I think it'd look better if it was just on an angle like this. Um, I like this kind of belt uh, loop. It's just a really nice way to design it. Super simple. And then the weight of the knife. There we go. And so the weight of the knife is below the belt point. So if you grab it right here and just let go, it swings that way. So that means the knife edge is going to be against your leg, just the way I like it. I don't like it when they're too high because then it wants to swing out this way. I just don't like that. So there you go. We'll be doing a review of this most definitely. And let's put that aside. I've got two more packages. Let's do the one on the right first. And I think there's two things in this package. And what do we have in here? We've got this. What's this? Oh, okay, yes. It's like a selfie stick, but it's also, I don't use selfie sticks. I use it more as a portable tripod. That's how this works. Um, it also has a, uh, let me cut this open here. I think it has a remote control for it as well, which comes in handy. What I really want to do is uh, see if I can get a Xiaomi. This is Xiaomi. You can see that little orange logo right there. That's made by Xiaomi. I want to get a Xiaomi gimbal so that I could take it around and I could move it and it's still going to take uh, a good video. So there's the clamp to hold the uh, camera and the legs can spread like this if I want to use it as a tripod or if I want to use it in the hand. And then of course I can undo, I think I can undo that and extend it. There you go. So it can extend. I probably won't use that feature very much, but uh, nice rubber. It's just well-designed, uh, good soft edges, uh, nice springiness to hold it. And uh, you know, that's why I bought it. So let's put all the parts. Oh, here's the little remote control for it. Uh, let's open this package up. If I make a video on this, it's going to be over on Goods, Gadgets, and Gear. Yeah, there's the little remote for it. And uh, you can put a little lanyard on it and very convenient piece of kit. And let's see what else is in this package. We've got this. Oh, a second one. Did I order? I didn't. I don't remember if I intended to order a second one. I've already reviewed this over on Goods, Gadgets, and Gear. What this is, is a little USB Wi-Fi repeater. Uh, so if you haven't checked out that video over on Goods, Gadgets, and Gear, 
I'll have a link for it right here in the corner on that little card the circle with the eye in it click on that um, this is for let's say most of your house has got Wi-Fi but one of the corners doesn't you end up basically plugging this into any USB power supply so your little um, one of your little chargers you just plug it in and plug this in to it uh, within the range of your Wi-Fi and uh, you configure it using an app on your cell phone uh, you can configure it on your computer if you wanted to and uh, it will then broadcast from where it is so if it's close to the edge of your power now you've created a new zone even larger and it'll get into those corners of your property where you don't have Wi-Fi signal I've already got one of those it works great and I've got a second one that I will probably probably be willing to sell so I'm not even going to unseal it from the package this is the last thing and this feels like a package for knives but I don't remember I so much don't remember what I end up ordering and stuff that I just I, I make this Christmas you know what I mean I I've ordered stuff and uh, I don't track it like crazy I just want to be surprised when it shows up and yes it says fixed blade knife this is that new San Remu knife that I've been waiting for for way too long. And by the way, I just ordered something else today from a company called Xduct. It's the first place that I've seen this at. The 8104 by San Renmu. Do you remember the 9104? Do you remember the 7010? This is that knife in a size between the 7010 and the 9104. Or the 9103 so it's a mid-size knife of that size of, of that style so it's the um, Sam Ram Muse version of the Sebenza now in a size that's in between the 7104 and the 7010 and uh, I know somebody who's gonna want a knife that size quite quite well I think and uh, $18 right now 18 US bucks and there's like a 7% coupon code that I'll give to you as well if you want to order that from Xduct. I've not had bad experiences from Xduct. Uh, they're, they're good. They've got very limited stock, very limited variety and stuff. So uh, that's why I don't talk about them very much. The G10 feels really cool on here. That's nice feeling. This comes in blue, which looks more like a purple under this light. Now, the fluorescent lights for camera work and stuff are kind of odd. So blue, orange, and black is how you can get this. Flat grind, high saber flat grind, high saber grind. Uh, this says S611-7. A uh, dash 7 might be the color code, I don't know. And uh, feels good in hand. This is a nice, small, fixed blade from what I can tell so far. I forget what kind of steel it's supposed to be. Probably 8CR14 MOV. We'll see. I'm going to do some testing on it and use it. And uh, boy, I think I'm going to order another one right away. This might be a good gift for some of my family members because the price is really nice. And, you know, it might be a nice small knife to for people to, you know, put in their car or whatever. Sheath right here. Very much like the sheath for the 7130. It's got the same kind of rotating end there. Very nice. So thank you for watching my little unboxing video. Oops. I guess you can see off the side now. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Patreon guys, thank you so much for everything that you do for me. I appreciate it very much. You're a tremendous help to the channel. Remember, always cut towards your chums, your friends, your buddies, your pals, not your thumbs.